What's up guys, it's time to take a look at the official One UI beta update that I've installed here on my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Now I did talk about some One UI features in my previous video, but in this video I will be sharing my experience with you guys, how is the One UI on my S9 Plus after using it for about two days. You can now install the One UI beta update on the S9 or S9 Plus, Snapdragon or Exynos variant, you can do that by installing the firmware from XDA forums through Auden. So it's a simple process like you normally install a firmware through Auden. But of course this is a beta update after all. And Samsung will be officially launching this One UI in January. So we're probably going to see some changes uh, with the final build. But anyways let's dive deep into the One UI update. And as I said before this One UI update is basically giving you the ability to use your phone with just one hand. Compared to the older UI, a lot of applications are optimized to use in that way. So, so starting off with the always on display, compared to the older one, there's some changes here. Uh, with the positioning of the time, the calendar, and the battery percentage. With One UI, Samsung also added the ability to lift to wake. So when you lift your phone up, it basically wakes up the phone. And previously, this was not possible. And same change with the lock screen, we have the time date information change as well as the change in the icons, which I'm gonna take a look at later. Taking a look at the home screen, it looks very similar as before, but you'll notice a change in the application icons. So now we have a bit more cartoonish icons with the one UI. Some people like it, some people prefer the old ones. I kind of like the new ones, to be honest. And another thing you will notice is the change in the navigation bar, which I don't have right now because I actually enabled the gesture navigation. So the gesture navigation works uh, exactly like the nav bar key. So if you swipe from the far left, it will take you to the multitasking area. If you swipe from all the way to right, that's your back key. And swiping from the center will take you to your home screen which is the home key. So very neat uh, gesture navigation system I would say this will not gonna be hard to learn and uh, I kind of like it it's much better uh, it gives me the full screen experience and uh, definitely something that I will continue to use on my Galaxy S9 Plus. So another big huge change that you're gonna notice is with the notification panel. So previously uh, you could swipe and bring the notification panel down to this level but there's no way you can reach all the way to the Wi-Fi button on the top with just your thumb or finger you know no matter how large your fingers are you cannot reach that but now you can swipe this down and then look at that I can reach the top menus without using my second hand so that's basically one UI is providing and that is the ultimate one-handed experience for these large screen flagship phones. So everything now expands and we have these big icons uh, to work with and you can notice that it is all dark because I've enabled the night mode uh, with this one UI which is also one of the biggest changes uh, with the update. So same thing with the settings application, a huge difference indeed. So uh, we have the dark, of course, dark light option to choose from and then of course the ability to just use all the menus with just one hand because it expands. As far as the settings goes, uh, most of the stuff is same. We have a few changes. The device maintenance is now being called as device care, so a bit of a name change there. And in the advanced features, Samsung has added the separate option for motions and gestures. So uh, from here, you can see right on the top, we have the lift to wake feature added. Uh, which is the one that I showed you guys earlier. And going back, you can also notice a new option called as reduce animation. So uh, previously to reduce animations, we had to go all the way into developer options. But now uh, if you want to turn off the motion effects or animations on your phone, you can do that by just turning on this option. So this will completely uh, get rid of all the uh, animation on the phone if you want more of a snappy experience. But to be honest, I kind of like the uh, motions you can say and besides it's the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus it's pretty fast even after almost a year so I'll probably do a review pretty soon uh, of uh, this phone in today's time so this is how the phone dialer looks all the main options are here down below same thing with the messaging application and I much need to change with the camera as well very similar to the pixel I would say all the options are down here instead of being on the top, they are standing out a bit more because of the text. With One UI, we also get the scene optimizer, which is the feature of AI that 
It is similar to the Galaxy Note 9. It basically enhances the image based on the scenes. So if you're taking a picture of a food or of a sky, it will boost the colors. I really like the new change here uh, with this camera. And a quick look at the Bixby. We have this uh, big blank high at the top and pretty much the same as before. Just looks better with the dark UI in the background. And here is the new multi-tossing tray similar to the stock Android 9.0 Pi. Previously, we had the option to go for the list view, which was a really clean looking experience, I would say. Uh, but now if we go into settings, you cannot actually do the list view. So it's uh, pretty much this one that you have to use. Overall, I really like the redesign of the applications. Uh, the most amazing redesign that I have experienced here is with the internet application. So this is looking really, really good with a proper dark mode. So we use the browsers all the time. And with Samsung phones, I always use the Samsung internet browser. So with the black UI, this will help you to have a better battery life and also it, look, it looks better. So the keyboard is also dark. And just like the other applications, you have all the controls down here at the bottom. So you can go to your downloads, go to your bookmarks, history. You can even turn off the night mode if you want to. It will take you all the way to your main settings. From here, you can turn it off. But I will highly recommend you to turn it on because since this is an AMOLED display, uh, it will help you conserve more battery with your Galaxy S9 Plus or Note 9. So overall, my experience has been pretty good so far. Uh, the Android 9.0 Pi has been out for some time. So uh, all the third party applications are working fine, I haven't seen any problem or any crashing. So far, the only application that doesn't work is the Google Wallpaper app. So if you go ahead and apply a wallpaper, it doesn't apply, it actually crashes. But other than that, everything works fine. But still, it is a beta update. Uh, and if you're using it as your main phone, I think you should wait. Although I'll be doing my further testing, like doing the speed test and all that stuff. So uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel for that. For those of you who are interested in installing this, uh, hit the link in the description. And for those who are not interested in installing, but still they want to have this one UI look on their phone, then I will recommend you to watch my last video. I will leave a link down below in the description where I showed you guys how to get the one UI look on pretty much any Samsung phone that is running on Android Oreo. So it requires a theme and a launcher and it works flawlessly. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.